playing with males gets a little touchy. Some males get vexed and angry that women yeah, doing that. Yeah. women uh, dribbling uh, them. Uh, the is that <laughs> so? <laughs> suddenly, the more bright your ankle. Uh-huh. 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 Tell like, them, Nandi. Tell yeah, them, Nandi. I would say the men got some egos. You know? Yeah, no, like the dude before just dribble you and you ain't had an issue, but a girl dribble you, yeah, know, you don't, suddenly you don't like that. Problem. Like yeah, that. handle mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we, gotta be, we tend to be very mindful of the males that we play mm-hmm. with. So we are back with our show. Life in Red and Black. And we dropped our first episode. And we got what? Like 12, 12, 12, 12 thousand, thousand views. views. Yeah, so we're really, 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 really happy about that. And we hope that it continues this way. I got to get accustomed. I feel like I got to look back at you instead yeah, of You always got to look back at me anyway. So who <laughs> do we have? <laughs> Is so out of all right, size, all right, know? all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is so out of size. Who do we have in the studio today? Who has the cat dragged in? Mm-hmm. Hello, <laughs> Miss Nandy, the famous, hi. famous Nandy, oh, the famous Nandy. Nandy you know, Nandy. I got, I got a bigger Nandy, I got a bigger Nandy. You know, what? we don't really support we own, but I, I think that we should push our own more. So that anything else, and they gotta get autograph on Nandi. You know what I mean? They gotta get autograph on Nandi. She, she's one of those big ones. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. I so. I think she's so. She's yeah, put Barbados on the map. In yeah, her own yeah, right. In her own yes. right. Yes. Nice. You want to say so, Nandi? Uh, I did a thing. <laughs> you did a little thing. Oh, I was so humble. So modest. Uh, yeah, I'm modest. <laughs> Thank you. Thank well, you we're right. really happy that you came in today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and basically, um. Well, some may or may not know, but you're also a bike rider as yeah, well, too. So some, some people may have spotted you on the street. With your old phone. Yes. Yeah, and they never, they never realize, actually. Because you know where you're going to have it, you just can't see who's riding the bike. It's, it's, true. it's true, but you're probably causing the men to crash. Because you know, uh, now you don't turn out of it. Nope, nope. With no, no long pants. No long thing, no long thing. I see my little pants today. Yeah. <laughs> 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 my hippie pants. And I came in long. And she got on long pants today. She did very decent today. She very decent today. I tried. Just yeah. a little bit. Just a little bit. But we want to find out about Nandi. We want to find out about Nandi before the stage, during the stage, off the stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The whole picture. That's Where cool with you? Start? Yeah, man. So forget that you were on the stage. Who is Nandi before the stage? Where, where, what were you like? What did you do? I don't remember Nandi before the stage. <laughs> <laughs> When I started dancing around four, I feel like from there there were always stage performances. And around was, four, yeah, that was wow. kind of my thing from back then with the little solo in the group or even a group piece. I try to fall back those videos. I do have a few fit- pictures from like fitness competitions when it was like six, seven, something. Wow, wow. So I can't really tell you on handy before the stage. Wow, kind of always been there. So how, so was this a case where it was like your mom put you into after school activity and you just grew with it or you just came and was like, mom, look, look, look. <laughs> I wanted to do every activity and uh-huh. she allowed me to or fed me into it. So she'll be running right. back and forth between two million mm. activities and events to get me there because I want to be in this and I want to be in that. Um, okay. So yeah, I guess it was me and then she fed into it. Was it a ballet? What type of dancing did you start off doing? Um, I started at Barbados Dance Theatre. Dance Theatre, yeah. yeah. So that would have been like a modern, um, a children's class, a general children's class, teaching you about awareness and stuff like that. And then I did um, in Yellow with Kim Allen, a community dance group. Mm-hmm. And Danny Hines would have been the main teacher for African then. Mm-hmm. So I would say between modern and African, but I... Sh- tend to lean closer to the rhythmic side of mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. right anything with like african dance hall yeah. hip hop i love african um, i love african yeah. <laughs> anything down the lines is where i gravitate to but i have had experience in some of all so from there i went to i know generation with tyron which is another african group basically okay um i did some ballet with praise academy dance in my school group at alexandra uh, hold on, this list is a little long. <laughs> long. <laughs> um, hope I don't forget anybody. Oh, Shelly Small in the right. train. And then at present, Dance in Africa, Rhythm Tribe, and Dance Machine. Wow. Oh, oh, where, oh, where, where, where do you get all this energy from, though? I, I, I mean, I see you in so many different things. <laughs> and like, I really don't know. 
you know, a cat. I take some cat naps. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You'll see me taking a nap almost anywhere. Yeah, we know that for yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, you see the, uh, you see the, kid, you. see the kids, see the friends, the friends that like, yeah, we got, you. we got you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I, I can see why, I can see why you, the amount of stuff that I see you involving, mm-hmm. I know it has to be tiring at some point. Yeah, yeah. it kind of just learned to balance and juggle things, and I've been doing it from young, so it kind of easier to try. Yeah, to uh, yeah. To juggling a bunch of things. So you kind of find your place to schedule a nap, maybe. Uh-huh. I'm not the best at it, to be honest. Yeah. I still fall up and neglect myself, mainly. Mm-hmm. Um, and resting and taking me time and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I have a but decent handle on it. There's always I, I a guess, place for success. Yeah, I guess yeah. that I guess that you actually finally, I want to finally get a break, but you got a break with the COVID and all the lockdowns. Happened. That was the first thing getting a break for a long time now. Yeah. I didn't know how to fuck shit. Like, what is this? What do we do here? Tossing and turning. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to do with yeah. all this time. And then eventually I found things to do. With so, time. Yeah. So right. I was almost just as busy, even though I couldn't really leave home. I had a scheduled dance class at some point, or mm. I was taking somebody else's classes, or doing some workouts, something, because to just stay in one place with it. Send me my eventually. Yeah, well, yeah, and people know she's saying that you gotta log on to Nadi and she fitness uh, routines and stuff. Mm-hmm. Right? She will tell you a little bit more of that later. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, did you imagine when you were younger, did you have in your head that this is actually where you wanted to take your career or did it just happen so to. Not. It just <laughs> happened organically, kind of thing? Uh, okay, so what got my mother into. So put me in dancing. She said I said something about being a dancer in England before I was born in Boston. So she, from there she was like, this little girl onto something. She said she would dance class. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, even though I would joke and say, I, well, not really joke. I would say stuff like I would like to dance for like an NBA team at halftime. Mm-hmm. I would jokingly say in mm-hmm. an interview, um, I just finishing up school to Rihanna or Marshall come and pick me up and take me on tour. Something like that. But I never had an idea of how... I would get there. Uh, right. I wanted to be a professional dancer, but it's not one of those things that, you know, you go to school here, you do yeah, this, and it's you true. go through. It's but true. And follow this set pathway and get where you need to be. So I had no clue how I was going to get there. Um, after time and being around certain people, they kind of shine some light on the vision. And then things just kind of started happening, happening for itself. And I went right. with it. And that's kind of how that I guess that's the energy you put out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I, I read somewhere... You know, I had to do my background <laughs> research. <laughs> I read somewhere that you mash up a fat. I mash up half to catch ice. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, who, I want that, that one. That? I need, <laughs> Is that I need so? I want to hear about that night. <laughs> uh, I, oh, dear. So this was around the time Dapper died. Yeah. And I was supposed to miss that party because I had to change the date to come back for Dapper's funeral. Yeah. And then... It just so happened that there was a mix up with the church or something like that. So the day got shifted back a couple of days. So I was able to stay for that event mm. and wow. stay for that night. And I went to that event as my last night to leave the next day and come back for the funeral. And he would have been in Trinidad too, studying. Yeah. He would have gone back to right? Trinidad yeah. to study. So we were like, yeah, we're going to link up for carnival when you get back down here too. And so that never happened. So I ended up at the party that night and I was in a crowd with a friend and the dancers kind of po- pointed me out from somewhere deep in the crowd because I went to a couple of their dance classes early in the week. These are like his choreographers and mm-hmm. his other dancers. And they pulled me up. This was the first time I heard his song. So I kind of just... You remember what song it was? Yeah, it was the same Don't Play That Song. Okay. I mean, when they first pointed me out, I was like, should I go, Ash? And she was like, I can hold your purse. I was like, all right, let me go. <laughs> and I was up there just moving to the song, basically, for the first time. And um, a week later or so, they answered if I want to come back and go on tour. And it that went. was it. Mm. That wow. Was it. What does it feel like being like? Because I mean, I've seen you at shows and I, 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 I always say, what does that actually feel like when you, you're in a way responsible for the energy of the crowd? Yeah. Like, is it, or do you just completely blank out everybody watching you? Yes. <laughs> okay, a few things happen because. I pull the energy from the crowd, actually. Okay. I get my energy from the crowd, so that's strange to okay. hear that I'm responsible for the energy of the crowd. Maybe I mean, you're not. I don't know. I'm not on the stage, so I have no I, idea. <laughs> I mean, part of it for me is that I want to 
make them feel what I'm feeling as yeah. I perform. And yeah. mm-hmm. I am enjoying the moment and in the moment. I will say that I also get into a zone where adrenaline is pumping me and I just hear enjoying the time. Mm-hmm. I could sometimes blank out completely from the dance or sometimes my mind is thinking about what's the next step because I only learned this dance today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. <sure. laughs> <laughs> and I'm not really sure what next or looking for if something goes wrong, how best to fix it or yeah. the DJ right. pull it up. I know we got to figure out how to scramble and fix this routine yeah. and start over or something. Or right. It could be a... a well, so performing yeah. and not showing that and not you showing made a blue. That was a That's yeah. a lot of <laughs> skill, and people don't realize that because I, I also used to perform. Back in India, yeah. I mean, that's that's what, Nandi, that's what he told me on our first <laughs> date. I could not believe it. I, he's, I, was like, I said, so tell me tell me something about your past that I would find interesting. He's like, I was in the grass skirt. I said, yeah. jeez, son, I got a grass skirt, man. <laughs> yeah, like like. yeah, so, yeah, that was part of my past, too. So I know how that is be, being on this big stage and performing in front of thousands of people. And, yeah. yeah. You have any shows that, like, really stand out in your mind when you came off and you were just, Totally pumped. Um, my first Marshall Monday, probably. Even though I've seen like the crowd here at Soka Monarch, or I would say the next big thing between that may have been Barbados on the waterfront in terms of crowd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Marshall Monday, it was like I really can't see the back of the crowd. I'm not sure where it ends. <laughs> All of it is wow. Like, I don't know if you ever seen the videos, but the yep. entire stadium is burst. Hot. Wow. Burst. And they had a solo, and he would literally call me out and say, "Bring the Beijing and like introduce me." So that would have been one of them. Wow. Moment and the full adrenaline, and yeah. the same way, like I said, when things going left adjusting to suit that yeah right and maybe on tour with that as well because then we had some shows i in like the magic stadium in orlando um in canada i remember a very big show in canada as well or dancing on brooklyn Nets with the Beijing girls that went up there that was an nba halftime stage mm-hmm. wow yep, yep. that's some big stuff man Enough ice. <laughs> big, big <laughs> stuff. Still going through all those things at the same time. Yep. The adrenaline. But you really always look so. Yeah, man. Like, it doesn't she? It's not just me, like, right? Yeah. Like, you just look so like, okay, well, yeah. it is what it is. It's a thin <laughs> line between tapping out so I enjoy it, right? And then showing that and then still being there and present enough to get the job done. That, like, being in, ton of, in the tunnel vision, like, you just. That's exactly yeah. it, you know. Yeah. If something goes wrong, I swear the world will slow down. Yep. And give me time to fix adjust exactly and readjust. what's happening yep. mm-hmm. and then start back right on cue. And in the moment, I might feel like, oh dear, I don't know what that looked like. But mm-hmm. I love back at videos. I can show you videos of me falling on stage and turning that into a, a spin. Split, uh, no. You serious? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> something else. I was like, I'm Whoa. about to die here. No. <laughs> save, save, save. But maybe to... Because I'm thinking my super skill is definitely not walking up, but my super skill, I think, is talking mm. like in crowds. Mm-hmm. And I've always found that when people in the crowd can pick up a realness about you, mm-hmm. as in, yeah, okay, if you messed up, it's not the end of the world. Mm-hmm. So like I, when people have to public speak, they get scared that if somebody asks them a question that they can't answer yeah, <laughs> they're gonna fizzle. <laughs> I've come a long, long, long. Yes. Was that hard for you? I yeah. don't do public speaking. Yeah. I can right. tell you, my friends will tell you. Three years ago at university, I had a question. I was not asking it in front of the class. Me talking in front of strangers? Mm-hmm. No presentation. I would be up there shaking, and my friends, wow, would be, would be like, "It's all right, Nandi." <laughs> <laughs> Just get tight and cold. Like, yeah. I came a long way. Even yeah. talking in front of cameras was a trick for me yeah. for a while before. That's really interesting to know. Yeah. It was for me, too. So, I, I on the same page as you. It definitely was for me. It's the same way. So. Oh. Yeah. It really is. But it just goes to show everybody's got certain things that they're comfortable with and then other things. Like, when I had to do Nandi's class <laughs> for the first time... <laughs> And we had to do some things. <laughs> <laughs> and it was in a gym that had windows. And I watched it. All the people start exercising and coming by the windows. And I was like, Nandi, 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 you're not. She's like, relax. She's like, no. Mm-mm. <laughs> 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 your, your, your belly up in your, in your chest. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. I guess different things for different people. Yep. It's true. It's Everybody's true. got their own different fear factors that they've got to face and deal with. So, yeah. 
a lot of my classes are actually try to gear to helping that part. Yes. So yes. I guess it's an <laughs> exchange because I it is about me not looking like me necessarily, but building the confidence in you and me probably just giving you the tools to do that yeah. and coach you through that and you know bring out the inner you. So, so this is I'm glad you're here because this is actually for me the part that I'm looking forward to with teasing out from you. Mm -hmm. um, and that is women's sexuality and the way women feel about themselves is a very different journey, I believe, to a man. Mm -hmm. In that you know, we are put, our, our bodies are generally what we're taught to praise, right? Yeah. You know, if it, a woman, how she's shaped and all these kind of things. So now that you've done a couple of classes, I've done a couple of your classes, like what are some of the things that you've noticed with women in terms of their, their confidence and, and how mm -hmm. have you found ways to bring that out of them? I would say a lot of it is there internally and then they just don't know how to, to tap uh -huh. into it yeah. mm -hmm. or how to bring it out. So the class tease is about teach them about sensual energy. This is with me and girl mm -hmm. and my girl G, G mm -hmm. Magic, big up G. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and that's more geared to bringing that out and coaching that. So in the class itself, we were trying to set the scene that this is just you and yourself in the mirror. And sometimes it might be a mother who recently had a child uh, or right. just for a while you've been taught to be ashamed of your body for whatever difference yeah. or something or you know those insecurities coming out and this is a place where it's a safe space to express yourself and to let go of all of that mm -hmm. and to tap into you because like i always say in the class it's just you and yourself in the mirror or wherever you put yourself in that space because it really is a beautiful place to tap into yeah. once you start to find it and get into that groove it's just a flourish a glow i just feel like a floating yeah <laughs> come, come join me over here join in this greatness yeah and and maybe you know you as a man you may not necessarily appreciate it but something that another dance teacher mentioned to me a little while ago and i thought this is so true a lot of the times we're not we're not taught to dance for our pleasure yeah we're taught that we have to dance to make you look and that's a very different mindset yeah. to be in so even in doing on these class when you're looking at yourself in the mirror sometimes you're like who's this <laughs> i'm really you know it, a lot of people really don't do that no they don't take that time to tap into them to look mm -hmm. at them appreciate themselves so i'd be preaching it on the timeline you know i'd be like i get up and look and it was like oh you look great today mm -hmm. <laughs> yes mm -hmm. talk to yourself nicely <laughs> where do you think that that how, have you seen with your students like different er other areas of their life that that's impacted when they really start to Definitely. feel themselves yeah man you see the little glow you see pictures changing up, or they might now come out with a picture just their approach right. to new spaces and stuff like that as a whole different set of confidence and i'm like yeah you you know i like to gas people up Mm -hmm. All the gas you deserve. <laughs> yeah, because I just think it's learned behavior for the most part. You've been taught to maybe be ashamed of this or to not like this for whatever particular reason. Right. And beauty is in the eye of the beholder yeah. to start with. Yep. And why not? Who's to say not? Just lead into that. Love yourself, appreciate yourself, and enough greatness comes after. Yes. Mm. yes. So I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. So, uh, uh, in terms, when you when you how when you got into the whole dancing and the traveling, if you would like, look back at some of the places that you went, mm -hmm. you have traveled to. What, name some of the favorite places that you have been. Not just from the stage. You mean just from the, the country, just from the country, country itself. itself? Oh shoot! Well, I will also say a lot of the times I might get into a space and not get to fully get into it because mm. we got another show somewhere yeah. else so i literally come there do you got to do the show and then back uh, back yeah, on a plane yeah. out to the next spot so i don't get to always enjoy, enjoy. the country yeah. sometimes i do get to tap in and i've been able i've been blessed to see some beautiful places let's see guadalupe there was a show that the stage was out in the water wow. so out in the sea and then the crowd were between so many water partying, so like splashing out the water while we dance, or right. on the sand up to the um, houses and buildings. So we came across either by a boat or by the jetty. That was a beautiful something. That was something to see. Nice. Sure. Um, 
I mentioned the Brooklyn Net stage that was New York at a Nets and Raptors game. Mm-hmm. Um, to Anywhere you would like to go? Oh, take me to the motherland. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get there. I've been told that Barbados is just like Three Ghana. Hours. Three hours. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'll take the time. No, you, know? you mean if you were going straight from Barbados yeah, right so, over? Uh, yeah, if you're going right over three hours. Did you ever? Did you ever think of that? I, I, it was only. It was only talking to a pilot. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, a light. It was a video that Fabian showed me that yeah. we have in our mind. We painted this picture that Africa is like this seriously oh, distant yeah. land. But actually, if if you were to go between Barbados. To the coast. I'm actually very shocked to break down for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's 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 for I think no 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 they said five hours five at hours, a decent yeah. at a decent pace. Yes, yeah. oh. It's not that far. Not that far. So yeah, I oh, definitely I wanna soon. I wanna mm-hmm. try that one. Yeah. yeah. Madonna for sure. Like, that's the place to, to visit. Tell us about your dance group. How long have you been dancing? I think you mentioned like two or three groups. I know Rhythm Tribe for sure. Yeah. How long have you guys been dancing together? Oh dear. I don't want like I should be upset because she remember <laughs> dates off the top of she head, but that is not me. Um, Roughly. <laughs> we've been dancing together for a long time before, actually. So Rhythm Tribe kind of started as we were a group of friends who wanted to do, like, cool videos and had similar ideas and stuff. And so we... Well, Aisha had the idea for it before, and she kind of just used, gave it a name. Mm-hmm. And in doing that, we started getting heard for stuff or people asking certain things and it kind of became what it is today so i want to say maybe like five five years Rhythm tribe itself i say you can correct her after yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rhythm tribe itself might be three years but we've been dancing together probably long before that because a lot of us were members of dance in africa and stuff like yeah. that. okay our dance community is really not that big so at some point or another so we would have danced yeah, with each yeah, other yeah um, yeah so Rhythm tribe i should don't take me you know who cho- how, how, how does it work? Who choreographs the dances and or um, everybody pitches in their own yeah. little piece? Um, Aisha's the artistic director, so she would kind of give the overall C and vision for it. Right. But any project is any project if it happens to be somebody else's project and they choreograph it and the Rhythm Tribe people, you know, come into the space or help however they can. Right. But we kind of just help each other out. There's not necessarily one set person, or it might be a piece that somebody has, but they want help with it, so they ask somebody to choreograph a session and this session and this session, and they can then just bring everything together. Mm. Do you have like certain things. parts of a dance that, for whatever reason, you just can't get done, and you have to like go at it over and over and over again, or do you find it just sort of mostly flows natural now? Um, I. I'm probably accustomed to everybody's style in there for the most part. Mm-hmm. And I tend to pick up on choreogra- choreographies fairly e- easily. Okay. Um, some of them, if it's not something I haven't done in a while, so like a modern or a ballet piece, that's definitely going to take me longer than if you just right. throw a sock or something at me because now my berry got to figure out if I'm pulling up, like turning out, <laughs> if this is happening, do I look? Angelic, <laughs> uh, bouncing around like a hippo. <laughs> you fit all the, a lot of things going on the same way again. Yeah. Um, so certain choreographies might take me a little bit longer, but generally with everybody in Rhythm Tribe, I've adapted to their style over time, so it's kind of come easily. I mean, I need to uh, from being part of the dance dance group. I I know it don't be always as people see it. It don't be as simple as it looks. Trying to remember every different choreography that you use for different songs. Like, I admire how you do, like, three different performers on the scene there, three different dances that you got to do. Like, what the heck you get that do? Oh, so it gets well, man. Like, so if you think about our show, it's probably, a, like, maybe 30 songs, if if so much, mm-hmm. um, depending on the length of the song. And we might do, say, 15 choreographies Jeez, or something. Oh, but as boy. <laughs> Learn. Respect. <laughs> Learn. Respect. And you remember each one. Yeah, but I, well, I get my little trick is that I attach things to the music. The music, so right. Once the song comes on, I'm going to start to probably do the dance. The problem comes when there's more than one dance to the song, and now yeah. I got to remember which one it is and where what comes right. next. Uh, yeah. But um, you find little tricks, muscle memory, linking movements together so it flows into the next one, and that helps me. Um, 
or then sometimes I might because I remember I learn quickly. Don't ask me about it in two weeks. But I will learn <laughs> it in five minutes and you be able to You sound like how I right feel after. after my biochemistry exams. Like, just dash that out and new information coming. <laughs> Make some room. <laughs> That's me with school too. Yep. Shoot. Um, sometimes they will call, I've been called before the same day of a show and like, just learn this dance real quick, Nadi. You can be fine. And so I learned, I literally learned it, put on the costume. I went still there and did it. Sometimes somebody might be talking to me between to tell me which section coming next so or like I say, attach certain parts to the song or something like that. And then I will fix a situation so quickly and easily that you don't necessarily tell that I make mm-hmm. a mistake. Wow. You figure it out. Over I guess sometime. that I guess that comes with experience too. Definitely. Yeah. Performing experience will yeah. build that. As you're here talking, I I have a mental image of um a vis- uh, something that popped up on my IG yesterday with uh, ballerinas' shoes, mm. and they had one foot with the in the ballet shoe, and then they had the other oh. foot all bruised up, and it was like no one really, really knows what's the price you mm. pay when you're achieving your dreams. You know, there's so much that happens behind the scene, and this is why this platform is something that Fabian and I want to develop because we have these real conversations when we know people personally but we don't bring it out there yeah, enough so you might know you might have no 30 other kids that are no 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 starting off on this and when they hear you and they're like yeah nah, I used to go through that too but if she could do it i could do it you know yeah it's important that we pass the realness of our journey to to others I go, i'm glad for that because i do want that it's not as difficult for anybody else who wants to like say i would i guess i will label the easiest Something is a a soccer dancer. I, mm. I, I call it a soccer soccer athlete. <laughs> right. I yeah. have workout scientists and a soccer athlete or something. <laughs> but um, as a soccer dancer, so that it's not as hard for anybody else who wants to go that way to get there. Like I hope yeah. to create avenues and paths for people to get there. Yeah. You're yeah, the first real, real dancer out. that I know in that kind of way. So it, it's an honor, really, to have this this type of conversation. <laughs> and yeah. big up to the people who inspired me to get here. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's how true. Would you tell us about your mom. Ah. What's your mom like? How does, how does she support you? Well, like I say, from young, she would run me from one rehearsal to the next and to this lesson mm-hmm. in between because she always made sure to get those in there. Um, <laughs> so football practice that. By the time I got my license, she was like, yeah. Done with that. <laughs> the same day, you know, mm-hmm. I had a rehearsal. You graduate now, so yeah. You, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> literally. The day I got my license, I remember I had a rehearsal, and I was like, Mom, come and take me to rehearsal. She's like, wait, you didn't get your license today? <laughs> <laughs> that was you and I. <laughs> I had enough years of that. This is my time. <laughs> but she's so very supportive. Um, she would come to performances. Uh, if I need a ride, she's still going to help out. Mm-hmm. Right. If I need a last-minute work at the door, <laughs> she can come and handle that for me. She's always been there. And then she makes my little outfit sometimes. Yeah. She makes her yeah. outfit? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. That purpley one yes. that you wore that yes. time. Your mom yeah. made you yeah, that one. Did. Oh, cool. Come on, cool. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I just want people to realize that you know sometimes when you when you're trying to progress in life, you got got that support system. It's be really really important. It's be really really important. Even from being around my child, that something I will say big time that's important to feed into and help your children and foster those things because. He started at like six and he sang the song where he too young for soccer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And from that moment, you could see clip, his mother has clips of him from back then in the newspaper mm-hmm. leading all the way up wow. to now. So if she, as they put together a biography, there's literally everything of the, in between stages. And then she's wanted people. She's wanted. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We're here. We keep it real. That's all right. Right. Um, <laughs> She's been feeding that and pushing him into it. And if he he wanted a band, let me organize and start out how we get his band. Right. Her says, let me do this. And that, to me, big time helped him into who, yeah, he, who is he is because he had that support. He didn't yeah. necessarily have to fight for it on his own. Yeah. And yeah. it was a loving environment to help him literally just be the artist that he, he needed is to be. To yeah. Who he is today. Yeah. yeah. So it's important. And I'm grateful that she. What's mommy's name? Colleen. Hi, Colleen. We're thanking you. Colleen, cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah. I'm so thankful for that. Really nice. So you want to 
Lead so, off uh, the dancing and gonna pass over yeah, with so, some other I questions. Know we don't mention football. And a lot of people have been to hear of women and football is like don't go hand in hand, but Nadi is a very great performer and footballer. Yeah, so tell us about this football. Uh, wait, so there we go on that too. Just a tap back because she never said football or oh, you a girl don't do that. Uh-huh. You don't want to ride bicycles, and she was like, "All right, cool, we doing that too. Gymnastics, anything in between." And even when I wanted a bike, I could find pictures of my mother sitting on the bike because she's like, "Wait, well, let me get see here." <laughs> and a lot of people usually ask. I was like, "How your mother was when you say you want to ride a bike?" So. Again, big up on call mm-hmm. to the football. Um, I started in primary school, and that led to playing in secondary school. And mm-hmm. a group of us from the same primary school, St. Stephen's Primary, went to Alexandra, which also happened to be a very close group of my friends. We were all in the same class, and we all played football together. So by the time we got to Alexandra, I kind of start roping this at other people and be like, right. you could this do this. This is an all-girls? Yeah, this was right. an all-girls football team. So then we had football tournaments that the team was pretty good. We used to win a lot of the tournaments. And okay. um some of us still play together now on the national team. We are my best friend. Literally been that entire time together. Nice. Um, playing football as well. And, um, yeah, like I said, the national team, I went to UE partly on a football scholarship. Um, wow. Yeah, that's where I'm at with the football. So I guess I must kind of compliment your fitness as well, too. Yeah. Or does it make you more tired? <laughs> um, no, because I find the time for for all of them, I would leave a dance class and go straight and play football because it's okay. just football prickle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or okay. I just want to be so involved in either of them. So I find a way to make it there, even though I'm running and my legs are heavy. Mm-hmm. Right. I figure it out to play this game because, I mean, you enjoy playing. You mm-hmm. tap out again in that, that space mm-hmm. where you just enjoy in the moment and you kind of forget about all the other things. So you've, and you've, you've traveled with football as well, too. Uh, or not heavily. Not heavily. Okay. So okay. The, when you when you say competitions, I know you said all oh, girl football team. You actually only played against girls, or you had like a combination of girls and and men and. Not in any serious tournament okay. of girls and right. men. Usually, only all female teams are like a friendly game or something like that mm-hmm. that we would play with males. Or if we scrimmage, Saturdays. Whatever day we might play with certain males, but playing with males gets a little touchy. So males get vexed and angry that women yep, doing that. Uh-huh. Women dribbling uh-huh. them. And the Is that first. so? And suddenly, the more bright your ankle. Uh-huh. 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 Tell them, Nandi. Tell yeah, them, the Nandi. The the I would say the men got some egos. You know? Yeah, no, got like the egos. dude before just dribble you and you didn't have an issue, but a girl dribble you, yeah, know, you and don't, suddenly you don't it's like that. Problem. You don't like that. can't handle mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So we, got, we, we tend to be very mindful of the males that we play mm-hmm. with. Yeah. Hopefully we found groups of males that just That's stay cool. for the playing yeah. the, the sake of enjoying the game. So Because I'll oh, be honest, yeah. you got a lot of men that take football real serious. So yeah. uh, for a woman to be dribbling, a man is like, uh. And the girls can play, so what yeah. you expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I yeah. would love to see moments like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like, like it's kind of like, I su- well, I don't know if I would say that's the same reaction with a woman riding a like perhaps a woman on a drag strip might mm. evoke a that similar definitely, reaction, definitely. but not on the road. On the road, they're so busy watching that they're ready to crash. Yes. Yeah. You definitely experience that, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> People almost hit me. I'm like, bruh. Yep, bruh. Yep. <laughs> you're looking at me and you're staring at me like, oh, so coming towards me. <laughs> it's yeah. true. It's true. And how? Do, what about, so the whole bike riding, I mean, where did that come from? Was that just a random, I want to ride a bike? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no big story, just yet. I always <laughs> used to say I want to ride a bike. I have a bucket list of things that I've been crossing off as time goes on. Ah. And I was on one of them. So um, a family friend, like Rosie, said, asked me what I wanted, wanted for my birthday, and I jokingly said, a bike. And then he started asking me, do you like this one, or do you like this one? And I was like, yes! So he was also working out for himself, because he wanted to be able to ride and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So mm-hmm. I, we have that, you know, I'm grateful for that. Nice, Hoping nice. Hoping to step up soon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so she's right now currently trying to evolve at Black Knight Riding School. Yes, yes trying to get that heavy cycle. Sent. She just got going. 
Yeah. Cause she's she, she on the road. She don't point. know what to yeah. do on the road. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> she's not in the empty now. Mm, the the empty is the seven hundred. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh. It's sweet, no. So so sweet. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet. It's sweet. And um, you you also have uh, biochemistry. Mm-hmm. So that was actually interesting for me because I did biology and chemistry at UE as well. So what's that? Oh, you were part of the torture. That was you were part of the torture. <laughs> I was part of the torture. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so I you know, I don't even know how I ended up in sciences. I think it was just sort of because. There was nothing else that I could see myself learning. I can't see. say it was like a serious draw oh, okay. to doing it. I mean, but I've had, there were different things I wanted to be at some point career ways in mm-hmm. life other than a professional dancer. And it was always any medical or science right. background. So I always knew that it was going to be something along those lines. And that's also what it was good at at secondary school. So it was. I can figure out something in this space. Yeah, uh-huh. right. I definitely didn't know that it was going to be biochemistry or doing the research that I'm doing now. So even and what, me applying, can we ask, what's that research? <laughs> Come in. So okay. even in applying to UE, um, I applied to med and then had a med. So I ended up in biochemistry and was going to switch. And that also didn't work out. So I ended right. up finishing off the biochemistry. I know that I am, well, at one point it was like, if I'm going to do two years or to a three-year degree, why not just finish it? And as also around the time of football scholarship happening, this is very all going with the flow. Cause that's mm-hmm. very much my life. <laughs> letting mm-hmm. things be what they are and mm-hmm. changing paths. And also the martial thing happened around that time. So if I was doing med, there's no way I would have been able to travel right. with him like I did. Because that was some craziness. And <laughs> I ended up here now at a place of doing research science, hoping to start with my master's soon on medicinal plants. And I love it nice. here. So grateful that, you know, I ended up here. But like I say, I didn't know where it was going mm-hmm. or how I even yeah. really. So in terms of managing that, I mean, studying is a serious thing and is a time-consuming thing. So managing, studying, traveling, playing football, writing. Oh. Like I say, you, I was doing it from young. So I kind of have practice with scheduling this oh, in between. Scheduling. So that's the key. Scheduling. Big time. I'm doing whole work at dance rehearsal because it ain't my turn yet. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> this is the time that I got to do it now because I got something else to do after and I don't have the time for it. So then that translated to me doing a show in Trinidad, coming back to Barbados, doing an exam, getting back on the plane and going back to do a couple shows. It was just on a bigger scale now, but I kind of always been doing it. So I guess you're great at blocking up things around you to get some things. Amazing. Yeah. That's I impressive, know. Nandi. I go in my zone. I be in my own bubble on a regular yeah. basis. I'm there, but not there. Yeah. That's it. So you knew um, doc, with, uh, Dr. Satrina. Was yes. she one of your... She was one of my lecturers, actually. Right. Actually, um, my supervisor for my research right now would have been her closest student. Um, okay. That was his supervisor as well. They were just very, very, very tight. Yeah, yeah. Do you know about Dr. Satrina, Fabian? Actually, in her lab, huh? no. That's no. where I do the research, no. Unfortunately, she she was killed, basically. She used to go for walks regularly, and they just found her body randomly. Oh. Yeah. I, I think it was at a beach somewhere. Yeah, she used to oh, walk everywhere. She was yeah. that lady just enjoying life, the happiest spirit you could wow. ever find. Yeah. Just cared about her animals and because that's what she taught actually about the animal kingdom and yeah. her pets and her cats. She was such a sweet lady. Yeah, she was. So rest in peace, Dr. Trina. Yeah. Um, but the bio, the the biochemistry part. So you're, you you want to do your masters in medicinal plants? Yes. All medicinal plants. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we would love to start, <laughs> but you know, we've got some more red tape to cross, so yeah. I'm going right. to just do some other things until I can get there and just work out my procedure as best as I can, because to me, it's about, not to me, we kind of focus on, like, mass producing the essential oils mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. the plants, um, and so I just perfecting my technique on doing that, so okay. when it comes to my plants, that's... <laughs> Your tomato plants, tomato yeah. plants. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we have the oils to make the medicine. 
Good. Uh, nice, 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 nice. That's nice. sweet. So tell us about um you speak about your eyes and stuff and they know you you promoted uh Lane is a is a skin a skin care product, right? Yeah, it was a, a body glow, natural right. oil something. Um I wanted to glow. I wanted a bronzer, I wanted to shine him because I had a natural skin care line. I was like, Yeah, so I need something to bronze and shimmer well on stage. Just get the extra glow. Even for like doing the fitness competitions or modeling for a band, you usually get like a spray tan or something to mm-hmm. you know, get that extra little buzz mm-hmm. wherever. Whether it be on stage, you know, I wear it on a regular day just to shine. And <laughs> wear so you out. was it a case that you <laughs> couldn't find something that was giving you what you were looking for? Um, I wanted it to be as natural as possible. I, okay. can't, I also didn't do a whole lot of research but i okay. wanted something that didn't have a big bunch of chemicals with mm-hmm. fake words yeah. and stuff like that right so i also went to school for this and she was like why you just don't do it and i was okay. like oh, you're on to something let's go <laughs> <laughs> nice. that's kind of weird that way <laughs> and how did it how did it do uh, she's my she's my baby okay i can't say that i've been the best at it she needs some <laughs> love so and for I've more been, things um yeah, yeah so that's Tell us the name of the line. Ah, Nagasi Body Glow. All right. There we go. Shop <laughs> Nagasi on Instagram. Um, I am not a, I'm a terrible hustler. Who am I kidding? I, <laughs> let me not say that. I am becoming a better person. Uh, hey, okay. change your words, Nancy. Change your words. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so she's there. Um, I'm working on it. I have something in the pipelines coming up to sort it out, but stock is there and we can buy them <laughs> right 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 cool so we kind of we have um about 15 minutes to go um i'm thinking what's it like you post quite regularly oh yeah on social media you manage your own social media yes <laughs> this is very exhausting <laughs> yeah how how do you <coughs> come up with this how, how how do you does it just ideas pop in your head sometimes so Initially, I would say my Instagram was just about documenting for me. So oh, as yeah. I do things, I might try to snap a picture or a video. Yeah. And I, sometimes mm-hmm. I don't even always get to do that because I saw it in the moment. Yeah. And it kind of was just a posting and documenting. But as people su- subscribed to that and came on to that, it also then led into promotions or money-making situations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now it is a platform. And depending on what it is, like, if I'm working with a business, then I might come up with a specific promotion that still ra- relates to me because yeah. right. yeah. people don't come to my page to see them per yeah, se. Exactly. But if I could incorporate it in something that relates to, to me, you, then yeah. we both get yeah, um, some traction. Yeah. Exactly. We both yeah. get a benefit from it and you get the promotion that you need and stuff like that. And you, I am being honest with my people because it's not like I hear faking and lying and telling you right. this works <laughs> and I have no clue what's going on <laughs> yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, so... It's evolved into that, and it keeps growing, and I appreciate the love and support, but it's okay. really just about some documenting and me right. throwing my ideas out there and sharing my ideas out there. Sometimes they do pop into my head very randomly, okay. and we just go with it, we put some things into place and make it happen, or sometimes people might ask for something specific, and then I build on top of that. Yeah, it can go all different types of ways. So who, who are are you at liberty to say who are some of the companies you've worked with? Um, so ambassador for Mocha Hair Designs. Okay. So you would see me post them up and do stuff with. Um, I just had a giveaway with Soul Addiction. Okay. Yeah. Mega Nazi. Nazi. Yeah, Nazi. Yeah. yeah. Another writer. Another writer. <laughs> yeah, true. Nazi's good people. So um, I was able to. Even in my connection with Soul Addiction and doing, I had an idea for a dance video. Right. And so I just talked to Nancy and was like, how can we do this as a giveaway? Because I feel like people always been there and supporting me. And it was an idea to do and give back things now that I've reached you 75K. It Gee! just kind of like hit me. 78, no. <laughs> it kind of just hit me. Let me do some, find some ways to do some stuff. So yeah. Nancy was very on board as she always is. Are yes. her shoes Gorgeous. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 wear the, be, the best things here. We wear the best things no, here. Yeah. Solid addiction, right? You just like when you walk in the streets, you're like, Shh, I just wish that I could just Afford open my closet, right? And, and see, see like all these, yeah. 
30 pairs of these shoes yeah. staring back at me. She woman's me. got some sweet shoes here. Eh? I'd be in there for like a good hour trying to figure out what. Which one? Shoes, <laughs> shoes. <laughs> and honestly, Annie's be like, Nandy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how, how, how do I pick just one? Yeah, wow. she got. Some, she has a good yeah. style. You got to give that to Nancy. Yeah, big man. time. Big time. So, um, Nancy was one of them, and we just did that give giveaway. Mm-hmm. Um, Sports Therapy 101 as a physiotherapist, King Clinic. So she takes care of me even in my injuries between if I need a massage or anything like that. They do that. Sometimes if I want to use the space for a dance video or something like that, right. King Clinic would link with me. And do for that, um, Surfside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. And so we t- I teach classes with Surfside as well sometimes. <sighs> this is going to be terrible if I'm forgetting. Anyway, uh, off the top <laughs> of my head. Uh, what, about, what about the hair? Yeah, they ask you where. Who did your hair? That's yeah. the mocha hair. Mocha 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, they got the braids, yeah. even though they're a little rusty. <laughs> she may be upset that I came here without them freshly uh, done. But she's always great. Yeah. <laughs> and you've done some stuff for Black Knight Riding School as yeah. well, too. Yeah. You've, re- you've oh, yeah. been a really yes. big support yes, yes, to yes, us yes. in a number yeah. of ways. I got more things coming, too. Yeah. Right, yes, right, right. yes. <laughs> we got we to gotta get her doing some stunts. <laughs> <laughs> you try to say, you watch me soon. <laughs> All right, stunt double. <laughs> Have you, um, has there ever been any... Ne- like, do you get people sending you some not so nice messages all the time? Mm. Yeah. Oh dear! As they say, you know, when it comes with love, it God come with you. Yeah, as yep. well. You I can't get in fault. It's one of one of the other. It's always that. that Did you ever, is that difficult to swallow when you see some of it, or you really just let it slide off your back? Most of the time, I let it slide off my back. If anything is like, I. Can't should I really let you get away with thinking that you you did something here because? I didn't ask you for your opinion. Yep. <laughs> Why are you here sharing an unwanted <laughs> opinion? And then you're being mean. Like, how did that benefit anybody's day? Right. It got, it got some people. What that, was the point yeah, of it? It got people that just don't like to see others happy. So, because they are not happy, they want to show that energy. So, you there. see, you got 78,000 people, <laughs> and you're going to still. God, it's you're the idiots. <laughs> no matter. 78,000. That's cool. Can you. I want to push a little bit. What's been the meanest thing? Meanest? Mm. Um, I don't know. They guess random. I can think, tell you some random ones I think of off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Somebody met, create. I, I don't know if it's a fake profile or they just don't use it to mention something and tell me about leeching my inner legs or my inner thighs or something <laughs> like that. And I was like, no. If I was a, a fragile person yeah, here and for a while, yeah. I'm not saying it's a bad thing because everybody has their insecurities. Yeah. And that honestly right. has been one that I figured out how to move past and not like bug me. But look how you would have just offset somebody there to yeah. what point and for what reason. Mm. Right. So I really just brush off a person. I probably tell them off. I never look back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Somebody recently commented on a video and said something about um, some women not um, accepting, not having respect or something like that yeah. and being worth more than this and this and yeah, that. I, I know you can get a lot of them and for sure. I was sure. like, you know, sure. if you think you're worth whatever you're worth, sweetheart, be great and do you over this all. But I didn't ask you for your opinion on my yeah. page. And yeah. if you actually know me, this is me talking to myself. But if you actually knew me, you would know that you you can't come around me with no disrespect, regardless yeah. of how you think I dress, how you think I carry myself, whatever the case is. You can't come around me with no disrespect. So, yeah. first of all, the fact that you use appearance to determine how much respect you give somebody says a lot about you more so than about me. Right. But carry on smartly, sweet girl. You ain't right. me today. <laughs> nice. I, I, I know Get for sure. I know for sure, because let me tell you, everything that they me is like, I didn't make fun of bringing off. Oh, point the word for me now. Point the word for me now. <laughs> I know you have to have millions, thousands of people on your DM. Yeah, now nah, you saw me cook up. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> Some wild things is past. Ooh, uh-huh. Some hot things. <laughs> Sense of that. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but, but, I mean, to dig a little personal mm. in, a, in a way, but that must make you still have to be quite guarded about. Yeah. 
you know, if or when you're ready to develop your own personal life, who's really genuinely yeah. wanting to be with you for you. Very I suppose awesome. anybody that has a certain following, that would be a yeah. hard a hard one to try to do. It's true. Uh, I've been grateful tell? to run into genuine people constantly. Mm-hmm. So, And I guess part of that is me reading on vibes and just mm-hmm. picking up on vibes and going with that. So I been blessed that a lot of people that just come into my life at random points like me and Fabian know mm-hmm. each other for a long time but never actually close and mm-hmm. when we actually link up it was just a blossom a genuine yeah. mm-hmm. relationship between so I've been blessed to find that in a lot of different spaces and I didn't necessarily have well people or maybe I sense red flags and shit <laughs> early I don't know yeah. but it's been true working point. Yeah. True point. I'm grateful for whatever that was true point yeah because I mean if you if you say you stated earlier you're a type of person that goes with the flow yeah I'm part in my spiritual journey that's something you know we talk about it all the time because balancing that as a couple mm-hmm. um, there are times where he'll get red flags about something that's gone straight over my head and yeah. then vice versa and you have to really learn sometimes to trust your vibe about about things yeah. and really honor it and then to you know move forward with it so that's that's a really really important lesson I think yeah man yeah. take that into life too mm-hmm. nice nice well, we got 10 more minutes. I don't know. <laughs> is, is there anything else we want to throw? I managed to ask all of my questions. Baby, where is your book? Hey, you know I made no walk books. Come on. You know I made no walk books. Come on. Come on. Nandy, listen, people, <laughs> let me tell you all know, right? We're going to have a red versus black. James? A red versus black, right? And what I gonna be? Gonna be I got some things, but men does annoy me. Mm. And I got, got some things, but women does annoy me. <laughs> I am <laughs> looking in my book. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you. Let me tell you one thing. I know for sure. Women has come prepared, right? There's got all the documentation <laughs> and the photos. But we men got me box. Yeah, we got me box broad. We can take licks. We can share. We can take licks. <laughs> I feel like I'm right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> you might catch me one day with the buck and another day be like, yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, I, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the planner for yeah. sure. I go put every point. As, as the like, she's the planner. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, you remember all of that? Yeah. Will you write that down? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Nandi, this has been fantastic. You're our first guest here. Thank and you. Um, it's flowed exactly how I had it in mind. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Me too. And I'm wishing you so much success on wherever this journey. I don't know in terms of how COVID, you know, it's been a bit of a change up for you. But I do hope that you can get back to, you know, following your dancing and following your biochemistry and your reading and your skin products and all of that. Yeah, so, so, when I, so when I said from in the big in the section of the interview, we got to get my, we got to get my, um, my autograph because you know when you get to that stage like Rihanna, I got the picture there from 19, <laughs> 2000 and that. You got know? the picture in the interview. You got yeah. the picture in the interview. Yeah, that was when I met Nandi. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, picture from way about when. Yeah. Oh dear. Nice. Stuff. I appreciate the gas. Um yeah. I actually traveling soon to start a little tour of teaching people to walk up. You mm-hmm. know, people abroad want to learn to walk up too. So yeah. <laughs> I do have friends out there doing it and I'm going up to do a series soon in New York first and Boston and we'll see where else it goes. Right. So grateful that that has started back off because COVID kinda shift that. Yeah, yeah. That's the next thing there for me. I guess I have like maybe two more dance classes here, one online. Thursday, you can find the poster for that on my page. Mm-hmm. Actually, just log on to the page to find the class schedules because they always pop up, pop up our new videos or something. And that is Nandi Yard on Instagram or your African Queen underscore Nandi. That's a lot, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, look out for her, people. Look look out for those those dance classes. They'll be really interesting. I actually insisted that the wave go the first one so yeah oh, we actually have one coming up for you very soon i'm gonna tell you all about that mm-hmm. nice <laughs> sweet well safe travels Thank and we'll you. see you back whenever that may be Thank yeah. you very much you're thanks welcome. for having me you're very welcome so this is it for us this is a very serious transition that me and wife had has took because it's one, one point right we couldn't agree with nothing <laughs> Not too regular, but he has evolved so much. And it's really lovely to see where we have come and to think that we could share something like this together. So 
Yeah, yeah the show again, yeah. Life in red and black. Life in red and black. <laughs> we out.